Good morning. It's like cold outside. I'm wearing my planting outfit. You know, like, does it just remind you of planting season? Anyways, so one of my generous fans gifted me this rain jacket. It's going to be perfect for today. Anyways, just thought that, you know, I'm using what you guys sent me. I really appreciate it. Check that out, huh? It's perfect. Let's get on with the day. All right, if you watched my live stream, this scene should look pretty familiar. Uh, I had Grant, Dad, Adam, and David out here. We replaced that knuckle right there. Um, my phone died right before we got the pivot to move. Unfortunately, just one tire moved. Let's push that one, which meant that this knuckle is broken now. So we're out here to fix that. Here's what the replacement looks like. Need a little hammer. No. Okay, good job. We'll probably, do you want to use that old knuckle or you want to put those new knuckles on that side? Uh, we can do two new ones, that'd be kind of nice. I might do that since we're gonna do a new-ish motor. All yeah. right, is that 9 16 on that? See if you can, I'll have to help hold here. Um, well, that's probably not ideal. That just means that instead of just replacing that knuckle, we're going to have to get something else, aka the new motor. motor, and replace that. I need an extension. Uh, what did I say? Do we need an extension? Before and actually, we left the farm? I think uh, one of your people sent you an actual extension set. We totally need that. I can't do this. My I'm... name's Dad. I don't listen to Laura. Well, I didn't bring enough tools. And I always come out here three or four times and just bring more and more tools. Um, my name's Dad. Am I gonna make, am I gonna make Laura carry the center drive out? How about we take turns? Okay, sounds good. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use a sprayer this time, or should we, to carry this? Let's go back to the farm. It's only 200 feet. Um, we might just carry this out, but we do need that extension set. Nice. We got it unwired. Now it's just hanging on there by thread. You take it off and get a new one. Did you keep track of what wires go where? Ah, they're, they're color coordinated. We'll be fine. They are, but we'll have to make sure it's phased in the right direction. So when you run it this way, it doesn't start going that way. We started the engine going for the pivot. So when we get everything fixed up, then we can just start it. It'll be all warmed up ready to go. Woo. Okay, next job for the motor is in our Mercedes Benz. Um, I've got the center drive here, carried it up here. Pretty proud of that. And we're driving the sprayer out, so we don't have to carry it all the way out the field. This is me bragging real quick. I'm done with my summer class and my final project got an A plus and I'm just really proud of that. <laughs> All right, we got the sprayer out and we have this beautiful extension kit set someone sent me. I'm excited to try them out. Check that out. Whew. All right, now I'm going to take this gearbox off, or not the gearbox, the center drive off. Extension worked wonderfully. That's the old one. Now, on to the new one. All right, next part is I'm gonna take this plate off and I just put those wires in there so they're not out. Um, but we're going to rewire this, hopefully correctly. <laughs> I did, I took one, um, applied physics class and I kind of learned a little bit wiring. Hopefully I remember.
all around us are all gravel so we have these big maintainers that come through to maintain the roads they're everywhere today is the first day it smells like fall which is so weird because it's like the beginning of August it's supposed to be summertime um, after lunch, I'm going out to check on my pivot, make sure everything's working. Dad is worried that there's a bad gearbox, which I really hope not, So I'm very tired of working on it. Um, and I'm just tired in general. Didn't sleep very well last night, and I really, really wanted to take a nap after lunch, but here I am. People often ask how you can tell the difference between the male and female corn plants. Tall ones are the males, short ones are the females. This is a really easy visual of how really simple it is to tell the difference between the two. Do you remember when I showed you that screen and it was green for the pivot, did a thumbs up, felt like everything was resolved. Dad was on the radio cheering from the other side. Woohoo, big happy family. Uh, yeah. Well, we went through that roller coaster of emotions about three times today. Finally, we had uh, people from the. Oh, sorry, that was kind of cool. I just saw the end gun go off. I'm just like, water exploded. Anyways, uh, we finally had the irrigation people out to diagnose some problems. It's not, it should be running now, fingers crossed. I'm at another well. I'll pivot to start this one. Anyways, sorry I was a little bit grumpy earlier. 75% uh, of the time, if there's a problem with me, like my attitude, it's because I'm hungry or I'm tired. I was pretty tired. So I took a nap. I feel much better now. I'm a pretty big baby. As long as I'm um, well fed and well rested, I'm down for 100% of everything. So I'm pretty simple to figure it out. Anyways, today pretty much consisted of one task going wrong all day long. Woohoo. Thanks for following along. <laughs>